I want to tell you about this right here. They have helped hundreds of families across Pinellas County and now local nonprofits are turning to the community for help to rebuild after Hurricane Milton. The organization plays a big role in this area of the estimated 800,000 deaf and hard of hearing individuals. Nearly half live in the Tampa Bay area. And 10 Tampa Bay's hand and Dean takes us inside the road to recovery. What used to be a very vibrant and exciting environment right now is a little bit sad and depressing. After more than two decades building up their prized nonprofit. I would say we probably lost about 80% of what we had. Water damage from Hurricane Milton. We had standing water in several of the rooms. Leaving the family center on deafness with roughly $100,000 in losses. As a nonprofit, of course, we don't have a lot of money sitting around to just pay for the repairs. It's the only organization of its kind in Pinellas County. Thank you. Specifically supporting youth and the families who make up the local deaf and hard of hearing community. We believe what's most important is that you can never look at an individual isolated, that they are part of their family, their community. Sarah Trasick says FCD has been at the center of her world since elementary school. I really just love how connected and supportive everyone is. I've never felt alone being involved with FCD. She says the organization feels like family, and in her case, it is. She met her husband here, and now their two-year-old hearing son attends the programs. And it really helps with him picking up sign language, him picking up English. And Michelle Ellis says FCD has changed her life. I, I don't even have words because they just have such a profound impact on the families. Breaking down barriers for her and her family. Without FCD, our kids would feel alone and isolated. Testimony that will buoy this organization to rebuild as quickly as they're able. In Largo, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. FCD has changed a lot of lives there. It's temporarily relocated to another space while they rebuild. It's an effort to continue with the critical program. And if you'd like to support their recovery efforts, you can find more information right now on 10tampabay.com.